Good morning. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. It is a early Wednesday morning here in Virginia. It's the last day of weather in the 60s, maybe 70s. So I'm trying to get everything done early so that we can get outside. My kitchen's a mess. I was making zucchini bread because I had two zucchinis that were just like about to go. And I'm trying to get a couple of shipments that I had delivered unpacked. One of them is Thrive. The other one is Grove. I do Thrive monthly and this is not my monthly box. What caught my attention is they sent me an email that if you spent over a certain amount, you got two free chocolate bars. And I haven't seen any freebies from Thrive, honestly, since before the pandemic. So I feel like this might be a good sign. I know food prices are like all over the place, but I feel like stores are maybe normalizing, except for my everyday grocery store. They seem to be constantly out of stock with things. So, but I was excited to see Thrive because they used to have freebies and offers all the time. Then the pandemic happened and I guess everybody rushed to like delivery services and I haven't seen them in a really long time. So I got a bunch of stuff. Plus they had some new things for Thanksgiving, which I thought were really cool. And I snagged those while I was at it. So let me show you what I got from Thrive. Okay, so here is my little Thrive buy that I got. I'm starting right with the good thing, the freebies. So the reason why I bought this was I wanted to get this. You got this just plain chocolate bar and Tony's has a bunch of flavors. I watched a documentary on Netflix and they were talking about this company in particular and how they don't, let's see. I think it might have been Netflix Rotten where they talked about chocolate and I think it was specifically in Africa and the slavery and illegal child labor involved in it. And this brand in particular does not associate with any of that. I think the big name they called out was Nestle is associated. And there was like a whole bunch of other big companies that were associated with this. But anyway, I've never tried this chocolate bar. It looked pretty interesting. And this is just the plain one. He has, They have like tons of different flavors. Oh, I take that back. It's milk chocolate caramel. Even better. So I got this one. Then this other brand, which I haven't heard of, made it with oat milk. So that should be interesting. So there was a third one. This is my favorite bubble bath to use with Paul, but he brought it upstairs and we used it the last couple nights. So this one is lemon lavender, coconut chamomile, and there was like a strawberry one. He brought that upstairs. He picked it out himself. So there was a third one. I got some baking soda. I like to use this one for cooking instead of the big bag that I get at Costco. I use for mostly laundry and cleaning. I think this was a new product. I'd never seen canola oil at Thrive, so we got canola oil. If you've watched my Costco, and you know that I have a ton of flour right now, but that's fine. I got a thing of just all-purpose flour from King Arthur. And these were two new items. So Thrive had a couple different stuffing options. I do have stovetop, just in case I change my mind, but I got this whole grain stuffing mix that we're gonna try, and then I usually get the Heinz gravy in a jar. I never make my own gravy for Thanksgiving. There's just too much stuff going on. So they also had this Primal Kitchen, which we do like. They have a classic turkey gravy. So I thought that was interesting. So I got that and then I needed more cinnamon. I refill my jars. So I got the cinnamon and then I got some hot chocolate. This one is sweetened with monk fruit. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then I do like this brand they cook with, what's it called? I might be pronouncing this wrong. Einkorn. It's an ancient grain type of flour that's supposed to be better on your stomach than traditional flour. And I love usually these checkerboard cookies. These were okay. They're okay. They're okay. It's a nice little snack. That's just quickly everything that I bought from Thrive as my little like mid-month order. Let me put this all away and I'll get my grove out. My zucchini bread just came out of the oven. Does not look good. Like overflowed a little bit, but yum. I can't wait to have that in a little bit. So here is just my little splurge Grove haul. I am not, I don't know what you'd call it. I don't get Grove coming like subscription wise. I used to a really long time ago and I just don't go through cleaning products that often. So I learned recently that you can just go buy stuff, you know, as you need it. And then I also saw a commercial where Grove is promising to go plastic free by whatever date and that really caught my attention because that's something I'm really passionate about. So I'm just looking at all their stuff again. It had been a couple of years since I bought stuff from Grove, but to kind of show you what I got. So I'm trying their bamboo tissues. I bought bamboo tissues through Thrive and I can't remember if we liked them or not. The bamboo toilet paper from Thrive we have absolutely no problem with, but I just got a pack just to see. Sometimes the 
bamboo can be a little weird. So I got some tissues. Honestly, these are just for me. Matt hardly ever uses tissues. I'm the one with allergy issues. So I got those. This was my freebie, um, seventh generation disinfecting wipes. I'll just use these mostly to clean toilets. That's what I use those for. I got some cotton swabs and these are made with organic cotton. And I got this for me, some belly butter. This is for my ever growing pregnancy belly. I absolutely love these. These were my freebie in my last box. They do have a blue one, which I would have preferred, but it kept going in and out of stock. And I just was like, all right, I just want to order this. So I got the lemon ones again. It's kind of a, does this say what these are made out of? I don't think it says here, but on the website, I believe it said they were made with wood and cotton fibers and they will outlast 70 rolls of paper towels. I use them as like a sponge primarily and they soak up a lot. Like if you spill something, they're pretty handy. So I'm liking these. My dryer balls are probably about a decade old and finally, finally, they're starting to like come apart. They've lasted a very long time. I did not get them through Grove. I don't know where I got them from. So I got three new ones so I can chuck mine that are looking pretty sad. I got some dish soap to try. I'm really picky with the dish soap. The Thrive brand dish soap, I don't like. It doesn't like bubble. So they did have a three pack, which was less expensive, but I just got one to try so I can refill. And I like these ones that refill versus like the plastic jugs. I did do price comparison for laundry pods. They sent me this as a freebie. Yeah, I think this was my freebie. And it was just a, like a little sample pack. And I like the way it smells as you're washing clothes. It doesn't, the smell doesn't stay <laughs> on the clothes at all, but it makes my laundry room smell nice. And I did a price comparison for the actual pods. And these are cheaper than my drops, D-R-O-P-P-S, that I get through Amazon subscribe and save. So I'm going to switch to the Grove for a while and see how that goes. I did not get the dishwasher pods because the Thrive dishwasher pods are still cheaper a little bit. So I'm keeping the Thrive dishwasher pods for now. I got some more floor concentrate because I'm really loving that for cleaning my floors. And speaking of, this is probably, this is like my main reason for doing this purchase in the first place. I wanted this broom system mop system. So you have this handle right here and it connects to the broom and it has a little dust pan. And then it came with this microfiber mop and it has one on it already. And then it has a replacement microfiber head. I do not know what happened to my dustpan. I've been missing it probably now for about three years. I'm sure Matt took it. It's probably in the detached garage or something and to probably the point where I don't want it back. But my Swiffer pole, whenever I bring it out, Paul is really interested in it. And the Love Every gift box does give you kind of like cleaning tools, but not anytime soon. I think it's like a couple boxes ahead. So I might take my Swiffer pole and just connect the top segment to the actual head so it's only like two feet tall so that he can help as I clean. And I also like that this is a little bit wider than a traditional Swiffer as well. That was exciting. Just some new toys. I'm actually going to use that this morning to clean the floors. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I show you while I what I shopped for in the last couple weeks. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I'm gonna have my cup of coffee before it gets cold. And then I have the zucchini bread there. I read in the recipe, it's just Betty Crocker. I wanted to have that as like a mid-morning snack, but it said it needs to cool two hours before you slice it. So we'll have that later. But anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like these, give me a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.